Hello, welcome, Devil Snob here, and this is episode number 18 of our double upload of the West Ham career mode. Oh my god, I still can't get over the fact you hit a thousand views in under 15 hours. It's absolutely ridiculous. This was going to be a 45-minute special for the transfer window, but uh, such was my annoyance with the, the, the HD PVR in the first place. I uh, actually forgot to press record on uh, on my mic, and uh, yeah, we didn't actually do any recording of voice, so I wasted uh, a few, a little bit of time. Unfortunately, Sergio was looking potentially good, but uh, he just didn't make it, so uh, unfortunately we had to let him go. As I said previously, we we're going to be quite harsh this time around, and uh, if the players aren't up to scratch, up to what we want, then uh, they're being dropped. As you can see, Knockhart has gone, Legette has gone, we got some money, which was, uh, at the end of the day, something we need. We haven't got much cash at this moment in time. And basically, what we're going to do in the background is you'll see that the, there's no flickering of the HD PVR, which I was so chuffed about. That was at least something I could take away. The fact that it didn't flicker and that the recording went really well. The sound was working perfectly. Um, as you know, we've bought Martin's Indies in. He is really looking a fantastic player. I can't wait to get some uh, actual games under my belt with him as a West Ham player. I was best basically assessing values of player, looking at the likes of Zizoko, who's uh, peaked at his level of 82. He's been stuck there for probably a good season now. Um, doesn't look like he's going to increase. Um, I was looking back at the, the likes of uh, Ogbonna and actually thinking to myself, do you know what? Is it Would it be worth doing a deal Ogbonna for Sissoko? You know, could he, they want 6 million, but I was just going through so many things in my head, looking at so many players, because you guys came back with so many amazing players as normal, which is... Uh, Fantastic. Gives me so much to think about. I had a few games with some of them. Really impressed with that Gary McKay-Smith. Uh, looks a decent player. Not sure he actually grows anymore, so it's one of the reasons why I decided not to uh, to have a punt on him. Plus, we didn't actually have that. To be fair, we don't have the cash to even probably have a crack at him. The same with the likes of Walcott, etc. It's really, really disappointing. We spent a lot of money at the end of the day in the summer and... Um, you know we've got to be quite sensible with the fundage because we're, we need to really break into that top four again. Now we are going to see the final elements of the transfer window, and what I will say is I've got to thank EA yet again because they're absolutely magnificent. I do love EA, but we'll get into that just after we have a look at this scouting report for the uh, for the uh, young lads because we really do have so much potential coming through. I can't actually believe that the scouts that we've we've purchased. Are bringing back these players? They're absolutely magnificent. They're they're, they're, they're ridiculous. You know, I, I don't think I've ever seen so many players with so many decent ratings. As I say, if they're not hitting over ninety, unfortunately, we are going to um, to get rid of them. They've got to be hitting ninety and above. Basically, that that is the remit. Um, it's quite a high remit, to be honest. If they're ninety and above, we're going to be signing them. I mean, the potential of seventy-one to ninety-two is ridiculous. You know, that, that, he may only hit eighty-nine, but hitting eighty-nine or eighty-eight or eighty-five, we can make a few quid off him anyway. And we're, we're planning for the future because you know we've got a long, long career ahead of us. We really, really have. There was a lot of love to bring Gabs back. I had quite a few private messages saying, please, 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 please bring Gabs back. You know you want to. Gabs is the talisman. He is an absolute genius. Can you imagine Gabs and Filippo playing together again, considering how far Filippo's come? And I was like, do you know what? Yeah, I, I actually could imagine that, and that is uh, quite a scary thought. As you can see at last, we have £3.8 million, which is really, really nice. Thirty grand a week, which is really, really nice. And uh, just want to get... Just, uh, Reiterate my thanks to EA because, as you can see at the top of the screen, we have a we actually have a cup game coming up against uh, Shrewsbury, I believe it is. As you can see, Marseille basically told me, "Look, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you offer, just piss off, do one. We're not letting you have gabs." Now, this deal should be the perfect deal because five hundred thousand plus Dorian Jean is round about three point seven, three point eight million in value. Um, but we'll see if they come back and say yes. As you can see, as I say, we're supposed to be playing Shrewsbury on the 31st, which is the deadline day for the transfer window. And uh, as you can imagine, when we go into the transfer window, again, Marseille come back and say no, we go into the transfer window and the game is automatically played without us playing the game. So I just want to say, you know, take a moment and uh, thank EA for doing that to us. And uh, luckily, luckily, we won 3-1. Um, so I'm not going to complain, but if we'd lost that game, I think I would have absolutely had a 100% rage attack because uh, I would have been so, so disappointed. And as you can see, I'm having a good look at Jack Collison. As you remember, Atkins or Adkins 
sort of offered him to us, said, you know, 1.9 million if you want to take him back because the lad's through and through West Ham. He wants to come home. Um, he's playing not too bad, even though his form's playing, saying he's bad. He hasn't really, really settled in, and um, he feels there's unfinished business at West Ham. He would like to actually come back and see his career out of West Ham. So I had a chat with the lad. Um, he seems like he definitely does want to come back. Dorian Jean is unhappy. I'm not too sure I want to get rid of Dorian Jean because that is, the, the, you know, it's an incentive for the tea ladies. To be honest, you know, our two wonderful tea ladies, Dorian and Jean, um, absolutely love and adore Dorian Jean. Quite funnily, and uh, I get extra large slices of gatto, which is very, very important. I do like my gatto. I do like my Jaffa cakes, and I do like my cups of tea, and I do love a nice pint of beer. And as you can see, I've got other things to attend to with the Belgium national squad. Obviously. Hazard is back. He's coming straight in the team. Hopefully he'll get injured again. I'm not risking Lukaku because he's too much of a big player. If we do make the championships, then perhaps I'll draft him back in. I took the opportunity to have a look at Dennis. Is it Preet or Pratt? P-R-E-A-T. Not sure how the silence and the hyphens work in uh, in Belgium. So I had a look at him. He looks like a potentially decent player. He has also been linked to, uh, to, to some Premier League teams. But um, we'll see how that goes. And uh, essentially now... With it, with it in mind to get rid of Sissoko, I'm looking for a new CDM. I'm officially looking for a new CDM, and uh, I've got a little bit of a story to tell you to how I come around to uh, to obtaining a CDM or offering money for a CDM. I don't say we obtain him because uh, we might not get him, but I had a look at Morales because uh, the goals that he scores for Belgium, all my days, you know, he he really is that that chip that he got was absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous! Oh my days! What an absolute audacious chip that really was! Fantastic. As you see, Southampton came back and said no, so I just left it at that. Now, as I was saying, I was talking about a uh, bringing in the CDM, and uh, when I was doing the recording for this, uh, thinking it was going to be live, uh, I had one of those little breaks as you normally do, just to have a little bit of uh, of an energy drink because uh, I was recording this at 11 o'clock Monday evening. It's now Tuesday and it's 2.45 a.m. that I'm doing the commentary. And I got a private message with a video attachment and normally that's either spam or, or whatever, but it said uh, CDM for Suzoko as the actual title. And I was like, okay, I'm a little bit intrigued. I had a look at the actual message and it basically said, if you, if you really are serious about getting rid of Suzoko because you don't think he's going to grow, please take take a moment to uh, to have a look at uh, this player. And uh, he took the time to attach a video, which I thought was absolutely fantastic, to be honest. So uh, obviously I jumped onto YouTube straight away, had a look at the video, and I was like, oh my days, this player looks absolutely tank. I then obviously went back into the game, started recording again, you know, continuing. And uh, I've got to say, this lad is absolutely fantastic. So uh, the Mighty Muppets, um, spelt with like numbers and everything, the Mighty Muppets who recommended Casmiro is, oh my days, this kid is freaking amazing. Absolutely amazing. He's also Brazilian. High defensive work rate. Has the strength. He has stamina. He has aggression. And I love aggression that really really is a, an important factor he really is someone uh, I hope we get because he looks absolutely brilliant he grossed around about 86 he has hit 87 on uh, some of the uh, career modes and uh, actually the Mighty Muppets said he personally has him in his team at this moment in time and he's an 88 which was like another reason that I thought you know what he really needs to be playing for West Ham United in the Premier League playing some audacious football. Now, you may remember a few EPs back, I actually went out to uh, to Boca. Well, I didn't tell you I went to Boca, but I actually visited Boca Juniors. Um, basically, they've got a player on loan in Europe, a very, very talented forward. And uh, it's time to reveal him because he's going to be probably our major transfer target in the summer because he's absolutely amazing he really is absolutely amazing he's going to be sort of a replacement for Gab see if he can continue Gab's talisman sort of uh, era but he really is fantastic and I'm going to show you who he is so you you guys might go and buy him yourselves on your career modes and have a look at him and uh, I think he's going to fit into this team magnificently he really really is utterly 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 audacious and of course he's Argentinian I was trying to tease you by showing you many other strikers but no this kid is absolutely brilliant sensational played a few games with him oh my 
God, he is just absolutely epic. Absolutely epic. I love him to bits. He really is the new Gabs. As you can see, he's on loan at uh, FC Barcelona. I think it's FC Barcelona B. He actually plays for Boca Juniors. Look at his dribbling. Look at his finishing. He's 87 already. He's just ridiculous. He's utterly, as a player, ridiculous. He really, really is. He's someone that, uh, as I say, is a summer target more than anything else. I don't think we'll be able to get him in this transfer window because essentially we don't have the funds nor do we have the players that we can uh, really sort of uh, offer and as you can see they came back and said they want an additional 4 million quid for uh, Casemiro which really really worried me because we didn't actually have an additional 4 million so I thought you know what I'll go with 2.5 and fingers crossed touch wood they would come back and says yes you can have an absolute tank as your CDM which would have been amazing and look at this guy as I say he pays for Boca Juniors He's on loan at FC Barca B. He is absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. He really, really is. If you're looking for someone, have a look at him. Um, let me know how you get on with him because I find him amazing and he's he's going to replace Gabs at the end of the day. So they come back and again, they, they're very, very resilient. They say, no, 4 million. So I up it to 3 million and this is literally like we have... We're, we're pretty much screwed. If they say no, we won't be able to get him. It's that simple. We will not be able to get him, and I'll be absolutely gutted because I think he's going to play an integral part of the team, and we have some big games coming up. As as I just told you, we don't get to play the FA Cup game, which is a great shame. Um, look at this offer from Real Madrid for Benzir. Oh, my day. £7.5 million. As you can see, the, the chief exec reckons he's worth between 6.9 and £8.1 million. Pounds. Well, if anyone wants to take this lad off my hands, they're going to have to pay some serious big cash. I love Benzir. He really is a fantastic player. But a player I would be willing to sell if the price was right. And the price would have to be bloody huge, to be honest. 17.5 million is what I would sell him for. Oh, do you know what I mean? I would take that money gladly because that would allow me to bring in uh, Gab's Mark II. But it was never going to happen. They were never, never, never going to say yes. As you can see, they finally took the offer. San Paolo were happy with 3 million quid plus Suzoko. Suzoko was happy with the move to San Paolo. I was happy to have the opportunity to offer Cas Casmiro a contract because he is honestly a magnificent player. 37 and a half grand. I went a bit OTT on him because I wanted him that much. And now we're going to have, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood. There you go. Yes, we are. We're going to have two amazing Brazilians playing in CDM. I can't wait to have them two in the same team. It's going to be absolutely amazing. 100% is going to be amazing. They're going to make their debut Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. We've got some big games coming up. You know, we've got uh, Reading coming up. We've then got uh, Liverpool. Oh, my days, there's going to be some big games. Oh, I just can't believe how amazing it's going to be. And there we go. That's the end of the transfer window. That's the end of the video. That's the end of Double Upload Tuesday. I can't wait to catch you tomorrow with another two videos. I really do hope you enjoyed these two videos. Sorry for the, the, the slight issues in uh, in the first episode today. Really, really frustrating, but what can you do once you recorded the content? There's nothing I could really do. I hope you enjoyed this second episode. I know there was no actual gameplay, but it was just nice to sit down and talk to you about transfers, and hopefully you've, you've really enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys tomorrow with another double upload and some cracking content. Until tomorrow, guys, I will catch you later.